What's up guys? Got another video for you today. Uh, this one is a character that you've met, but you probably don't know the name of yet. Uh, so he didn't want his name out there for a while, but he's finally graciously allowed me to put his name out there. His name is Dougie T. I'll throw a picture of him or at least a screenshot from a video up of him right here. Um, he goes by Dougie T, Doug or Dougie. I just want to call him Dougie T because I like the way it sounds, but uh, we'll be going over his top five moments today. Uh, these are pretty fun. A couple of them are just impactful for both of us. So I like that about them. But uh, with that being said, we'll roll into the first one. So for this first clip, uh, it's more of just a jab at him, but it's a funny little clip. Uh, me and him are trout fishing and uh, he grew up more country, you know, than most. So he's got, he's got a, his country accent. And uh, you know, he says some words that aren't necessarily proper from time to time, but trout fishing, we're finally figuring them out, you know, throughout the day and we're starting to get on them. You know, he's got like half a limit. I got a little over half a limit. We're really starting to catch them. And he goes, ain't nothing more funner than catching, you know, fish like this. And it's just a funny little clip, but here it is. Oh, you got one. Where's number four for you? They're eating. Yeah, we're gonna mess around and have a limit pretty quick here. Don't get much more funner than this. You know? Just to have a good little afternoon fish is fun. It is fun. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. It's it's more of a simple clip, nothing crazy. Uh, this next one, I totally forgot that this happened. So if y'all didn't know, I'm actually going back through and rewatching all these videos to find these because I remember some things. I don't remember everything. I completely forgot about this, but it's just a goofy moment. But it's me and him fishing at Taylorsville in a tournament. And I turn around, this man's just got a turtle hooked. And his reaction and just me just we had a bad day that day and i'm just defeated so i sound sad and it's just a funny moment but here it is how did you manage this <laughs> that poor turtle i think you just got him underneath the hello bring him over hold on we got a turtle i'm gonna get him off the hook here if i can how did you manage he is mad. He's a snapper. He is mad. He is a snapper. That's a pretty snapping turtle. Well. He's a little angry. All right, see you, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys, that brings us to the third clip. This one uh, is pretty funny. I enjoy this one quite a bit. But it's me, Doug, and Cody in the boat, and we're trout fishing. And I snagged Cody, and there's a, there's a lot to unpack here. Um, not only what actually happens, and the diss that Doug puts out to Cody is hilarious, but I'll show you another little clip uh, that is just kind of funny, that kind of correlates, but yeah, we'll roll right into that. You good? Yeah, you good? <laughs> Fishing for trout, not suckers. Damn, son. <laughs> That's the worst thing that's happened today. The insult, not the <laughs> hook up. <clears throat> I think Dylan tries this on purpose sometimes to get revenge for the time I hooked him with my, uh, what was it, the lipless? I'm sorry. Damn. Is it really? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> you mean the time at Justin's uncle? <laughs> yeah. Just with. Damn. He really did. <laughs> that video cracks me up. So I hope you enjoy that clip. Uh, the burn's great, but me getting hooked and the whole reaction with that, I love it. It's funny. That happened like two years ago, I think. Uh, it sucks, but it is what it is. But, uh, so we'll roll into spot number two. Now I told you that any keeper that was caught that was not caught by me would be in these videos. Well, here's the other two. Uh, three keepers were caught that I didn't put in the boat this year. So Doug caught the other two. Um, the first one, 
I implore you, like I always, you know, I put these videos linked in to uh, the cards or whatever they call them up at the top of the screen here. Um, I always do that because if you want to watch them, they're there. Uh, if you don't, whatever. This one, I implore you all to watch because our day at Rough River, at least the first like 20 minutes of this video, it's a long video, I know, but we absolutely destroy the fish this morning. You'll see it in this clip. Like we caught so many so quickly and it was so much fun. We had a limit in like 15 minutes. But uh, as I said, the link's there. Uh, if y'all wanna go watch it, please be sure to go watch it. But here's the clip. Got another one. That one's way out there. I mean, that's 50 feet off the bank. Be a good one. Just a decent one. Something at a coal. Good hook on him. He don't feel too good. He just ain't a fighting. He's right there at your line. He'll call. He'll call that little spot I caught for sure. I got to figure out which one of the two in the live well is the little spot though. Okay, you definitely keep. Let me get yeah. Pulled out one of mine. Yeah, that's a good call there. And he's got another one. <laughs> I'm over here calling. He's got another one. All right. Well, this one's going back, guys. Well, I'm going to... Nah, he's little. He hit the boat. That's a pretty good call there. That's like probably... This one's probably a pound and a half or something. Another one. God, what a jump. Guys, I can't even get a line in the water for him. <sighs> he ain't even bad. He got him hooked in the side of the head. He won't cull. I actually don't even think he's a keeper, but I mean, good Lord, I'm gonna have to get top water out, I guess. He won't cull, no, I'm gonna call him back. Yeah. All right, that's like a, that's a quarter pound coal right there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you go and check that video out. It's a great one. Uh, for spot number one, this is kind of funny in a way, but it's actually really serious in a way too. So this is the one other keeper that was caught that wasn't by me this year. Um, this is also probably the littlest keeper you all have ever seen in your life. This, this fish is barely 12 inches and weighs 0.63 pounds. Um, but without that fish, me and him don't get first place. We get second place and we lose out on money. He caught this rather late in the day, not a big fish. Me and him were super stoked to catch it, but here's that clip. He might be 12. From there, the best thing I knew to do was to just pick him up and throw him in there. Be 12. Bye, George. I think he makes it. By the hair of his chinny chin chin. Look. Fit. He's over the line. He's over the line. On yours. On mine. Keeper number two, guys. Keeper number two. He ain't much, but he keeps. Get another one. Catch three more of them. All right, guys. That's going to wrap it up on Dougie T. Uh, I think we've got Cody's video, my video, and I got a couple others in store for you that are year end review stuff that you don't really know about yet, uh, but I think both of them you all will enjoy. I know I will enjoy making them. Uh, they're a little different than this series, but similar all the same. They're moments of the year, so we'll get into those, but I, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you all continually watch the series. But with all that being said, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you.